Hey, what's up, besties? So I got a new thing. I got a new thing. If you're interested in seeing what's in my A5 binder, rings, whatever we're calling this these days, then stay tuned. Hey. Hey, what's up, besties? I am so happy to have you back for another video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below as well as that notification bell so that you don't miss any more of my videos because we about to get litty, okay? I've been re-energized, rejuvenated, refreshed, reset, and recharged, okay? And your girl is ready to give you the best that I have. And I'm so excited that I can start off by showing you guys my new planner. And then I'll get into the rest of the things um, that are coming up for the month. All right, so this is my day designer. I actually got this from Target. I was interested in trying rings. I think it was CJ who was like, just try some rings. I was like, well, I can't do the personal size because it's just too small for me. Um, and the B6, I don't know, I just wasn't sold on it just yet. But I love the A5 size of my TN. And you guys know I had the petite planners and I had them all inside of my Foxy Fix, which was cool except for when I needed, like except for when I was stuffing them to the max with all of the different books and things that I had. And the more I stuffed it, the heavier it got. And it just became something I was like, I am not a fan of carrying this around. So <laughs> I decided I needed to do something different. Um, I was carrying the Hobonichi and I actually did like the Hobonichi for a while, but I think I had began to decorate it way too much that it wasn't becoming as functional as I needed it to be. So like a true planner girl, I decided to try rings. I tried to decide, decided to try something um, totally different, especially because I had fell in love with the Erin Condren binder that um, she had came out with. So I just thought, why not? And I decided to cut down my petite planners and put them inside of here. Just the days and things that I needed so that I wouldn't be overstuffing. All right, so this is the day designer one. You can pick it up from Target. It's just pink and I've added like a little dangly thing. And then this is actually just a sticker. Um, I'm trying to see if I like it enough to like make it stick stick on there It's been on there for about a week now and it's been in my purse and I've been taking it on and off Like I mean in and out of my purse and it still sticks on there So I'm actually pretty you know happy with this one. I think it came from Hobby Lobby and like their like little stickery section or whatever, but what else so when we open it up this is what we have over here so I love decorating like the little side parts and like showing some pizzazz all of this stuff has absolutely nothing to do with the other but it was just cute um I think I might take this one out and I found another one that I wanted to put in here oh or maybe I can do it like that I don't know because I just didn't like that rainbow one it just didn't go that just does not go with the go with the go I gotta find that other one anyway um so I just have like some little hodgepodge of things over here that I like seeing um I actually got this from uh Scribble Prints Co I think I was there and this is by Alita Design Studio it's like a little it's a sticker of some sort but it's really thick and so I just kept it and use it more so as a die cut versus using it as a sticker um I have no idea who she is but that sticker was absolutely gorgeous and I could not pass it up um, this is one of the like little bows from my shop. I just like keeping that there. I just think it's really cute. It's just so adorable. And then this is one of the diamonds from the jewel box, the latest one, the, um, the, like the self care box, I think it was called. And I just thought that'd be cute to stick there um, as a reminder that, you know, kind of take care of myself and I am enough. I am that girl. Um, and then I have this one from the last, um, I was going to call her Sophia box. Um, but the Golden Plans Co. Mystery Box, um, monthly subscription box. And I got this one in there. Same thing. I don't know what these are called. Like die cut stickers, I guess. Whatever. Um, but this one was super cute. And I really, really liked it. So I just wanted to stick her in there. Give her a little room to shine. This was one of the... Um, one one of the cards that I made and it just has some of my favorite simply gilded washi on there and I just thought that was cute to kind of stick behind and you know just add a little jazz I got this from scribble prints co the like the party that I went to and this is from rose color days it's just a little like laminate but it has I mean it's just this is like amaze balls to me and so I just stick that in there kind of like to give it just a little background I guess I'm all about the layers I'm all about the layers um 
I don't know if that's the song, but I just like the layers of there. And then I have this cute little um, planning world thing, and I just thought all of these colors went well with um, the planner, so I just kind of stuck that back there if I ever need them. And you know, just as a little, gives a little something, something. That's all I'm saying, a little something, something. So that's how I have that design over there. There is also a pocket over here. So when I have my cash envelopes, which I'm getting ready to go to the bank and store them, I can stick my cash envelopes down in here. And I actually have the clear ones coming. So I think they'll be a little bit, uh, where's my, I don't even know where my one is. Anyways, I'll have the, like the clear ones that are coming so i think those will fit back there very well you can just stick whatever you want like i could possibly put more stuff back there if i wanted to all right so let's get into our let's get what did i just drop okay there we go so i have it kind of set up where i split some things off um all of the dashboards like these clear dashboards like this these are from our girl cloth and paper she has them in the sets of four and i think they were like maybe five ten dollars I don't know but anyways I bought them I have the link down below so you guys can purchase some as well and they're just clear dividers and it has the divider tab on the top or you can get the divider tabs on the side I actually prefer the divider tabs on the top for some reason because I like my top to shine versus my side because you can't really see it but I love my top to be like lit like that like all it needs now is my peach palmetto pop I can definitely carry this in here now I could stick her right there. Look how she shines. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry. Back to the matters at hand. So, um, we have the weekly section here. And then inside of here, any of these different little, um, like these dashboards. I printed this out on vellum. But this is actually from digital dash box and i love 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 digital dash box like so so much you guys know i love them um it's just easier for me to just print out the things that i want and i have everything right there ready to go and i have the files to keep forever um i just download the sizes that i have like i have an a5 i had a hobonichi and i think sometimes i downloaded the b6 and i would just keep them you know till i felt like I was going to use them or whatever just store them because you never know what theme you're going to go for and all that stuff so it's kind of like just digital papers but then she also gives me some other things as well all right so um yeah that's a receipt because I went to Hobby Lobby and I used my gift card so y'all know because we on this $35 challenge I had a gift card to Hobby Lobby that I got from someone um at the at the uh Planning a Better Me Retreat. I was like, where was I at? At the Planning a Better Me Retreat. So I just keep those inside of here because it has my balance of what I have left on there. So I wanted to keep that. I um, actually gifted some of my coins to my cousin because I'm making her invitations and stuff. Uh, what is this? This is beeping. Something's beeping at me. It's telling me something's about to happen. Let me see. Okay, so that was weird. What was happening, I was running out of space on my disc, but I'm glad I looked up because I would have been um, talking in any way. Um, so I left off at the things. This is where I keep all of my like gift cards and things like that so I can always have those with me. Um, any important reminders, um, coupons, like I have a, um, like a $5 off a store purchase at Target, Bath and Body Works, um, an Ulta gift card, all that stuff. I just keep that in there and I like it. All right, so then this is one of the insert printables that you can get from Digital Dash Box. And normally I foil these, but I just didn't have time to, so I will later on if I can find like my, I think I used all of my like orange fiery color, so I gotta figure out what color I want this to be. But it just has the weekly part of the insert. So that's why this tab says weekly up here. And um, oh, these tabs. I got them at the Scribble Prints Co. Party. And they say like weekly and daily. I don't know if you guys can see all of that. So like weekly, the today, there's a finances one, social media projects, and yeah. And if I have any other ones, I do have some extra ones left. Let me show you what they look like. I have no idea, like, was she selling these at one point in time or what? They were just all on the table. So I grabbed as many as I could. At the time, I honestly didn't know exactly what they were to be used for. I kind of was thinking my Hobonichi, but I didn't even think about them as being divider tabs. So I'm glad I picked up a couple of these because um, now I have them. Okay, so then this is like the weekly view, and I absolutely love it. This is a spread that I did. In 
in here kind of getting my feel for how I wanted to use this part of my planner so this is like my weekly and I put the basics in here of things um, I used some Christian designs that's why it looks a little rugged over here I was trying to I don't have a sharpie marker at my job so I wasn't um, I was just using some other stuff and anyways it's smeared like really bad um, so you have specific pins that you have to use for the Christian designs but other than that like everything was super awesome I just kind of pieced it together with the jewel box kit um, so like these ones are from Christian designs and this is from a happy planner book um, and then these big stickers they're from the jewel box and I actually fell in love with doing this this was something new for me um, just kind of putting things together making pieces fit together and I actually like it and then this is the one I did this past week where I just used um, some of the newer stickers that I got from uh, the happy planner and then I used um, some Christian designs again to kind of fill in where it needed to be filled in with like some of the boxes and stuff and it just works so I found a new little planner zhush you know using the Christian designs I was never um I always thought it was like really expensive but I have those books from was it Michaels that I got that were like a dollar <laughs> and so I've decided to try to use some of those so yeah that's how they're, they're this will look and I can do this at work and not be bothered just not like at work but like I can do this for work like when I'm sitting there and I like don't have anything to do um, I can do that there I can do it anywhere and it this was just very stress relieving um, and I just put the basics like I don't go into like intricate details just the things that have to get done for this week um, and I think this is it, it just really works it just really works for me um, I really love looking at this one too it's just super cute okay um, and then you have all of the days in there and all of that so you just print them out and I use a 32 pound paper um, that gives me kind of like a feel of planners versus just feeling like I just stuck paper in there it just feels a little bit fancier and I use the HP kind or there is a hammer hammer meal hammer meal and it's like a photo paper oh that one works really good too and then I just punched a hole in some of these soccer stickers so I would have them back there because Bubba's in soccer and this came from one of the um, happy planner sticker books okay so again these are my dashboards I just think they're so cute like look at that so before I got these clear ones I was already printing out this one and I like to try them out on the um, like transparency paper to see how they work and yeah so I don't know why I have both of these right here I'm just weird like that so um, this goes into my today section and this is where I basically changed my petite planner into a rings planner. You'll see that video if you guys want to see how I did it but um, I took that and so now I have all of my petites like this just like ready to go and I really love this like I really really like this a lot. Um, this was one of the days I tried it and just to see if I liked you know how minimal I could be if I could use stickers you know and it's just been working like I really I really really like it like this so yeah there's that um okay yeah so I just stuck those in there and I have the paper clips kind of where I need to like remember stuff is happening and then I also punched holes in the stickers back here but I can take those and move those anywhere yes I know I am very well aware that I cut holes in that first part but neither here nor there because I probably won't use them these are the Christian design stickers I was telling you about these are perfect like there's so many different colors in there and I think this is just an awesome sheet to have like you definitely can't like I mean you could possibly make a full spread out of it but I know for me why is that sticking on there for me I would need like extra stuff but this is just basically like an essentials kit a thing to add and as you can see I still have lots left over so if I have another like theme or a week that has like green I can just pull from that and I just kept that back there and then I kept the back of the planner in there because I'm using it as a folder so this was like the, the back cover of the petite planner and then we go into the finances one and I did the same thing with my petite planner so I just cut it in half and you can see this is September's budget and then this is where October's budget is going to be housed but isn't that cute and this kit is from my cousin was he? Um, what did I do with her envelope because I had something to say about her stuff and I probably have Put it somewhere oh here it goes I'm like where did I put this um but anyways her um shop here she has her own shop and I'm so excited and it's goddess planning 
and she has all of these different things and I'll show you guys but I got those um, this actual stuff from her kit and then some of the extras were some of the ones I found in my stickers um, like the girl and over here just use that to kind of fill it in and make it you know dress it up make it real for me but I put all of those in there is the ones that I had left over and then I I know you'll see like it says December and it's just because of the way that the petite planners are made it goes from the monthly into the notes so yes I have a random February budget there that's a thing and then it just goes into the other one so like I have my September in here and I'm kind of keeping those and then I just put the rest of them back here so that's a thing I plan on coming through here and just kind of noting some of the things that I have coming up for next year that I need to be aware of um, any important dates people getting married me getting married I'm speaking into existence okay <laughs> um so then it goes into my projects and I have just another one of these um things from the digital dash box it's a self-care challenge um I like keeping that back there because I feel like that's you know it's just cute just a good little reminder and this girl is so cute I couldn't figure out like I might just do this one like this quite frankly because I love seeing this back here but these are like some of all of the different designs that she has available and I don't know if I showed y'all that at the front but I printed this out on a uh, transparency paper as well so I think I'm just gonna yeah I'm gonna stick this one back here because I think this one should be shown at the front okay um and then it goes into my goal planner so this I like I said I just undid my petite planner and I stuck it in here and I have my goals and things like that things that I'm working on and I just stuck them um just a couple of pages I think I did three like three projects worth in here and that way I wouldn't overwhelm myself and then I wouldn't just have unnecessary things I think that's why I like this a lot more because it eliminates all of the unnecessary things that I don't have to look at like I don't need six goal things if I'm only working on three um, I don't need to have my whole entire year's worth of my budget in here if I only need to see previous and this month and then next month like you know what I'm saying like I just could eliminate what I didn't need to see and then the same thing like with these like I don't need to see September anymore I just need to see October and November and possibly December if I need to but it's not a necessity right now two months in there is pretty good so that has that part in there and then we go back here and then this is my social media one and look at this dashboard ain't this cute like boo thing savannah you did your thing girl i'm i'm here for this okay um and i just used um this habit tracker i put this one in here and you wouldn't let this happen to your phone so don't let it happen to you either and i think that's important to put back here in the social media thing because a lot of times i will like overwhelm myself trying to get a lot of stuff done that i just you know probably could have chilled out on so anyways there's that and then it goes into um, the habit tracker and I want to use this to kind of like list out what videos I've worked on and if I have um, like if I've filmed it matter of fact we can just write that down so we're in there this pen came from the jewel box it is actually a um, ballpoint pen but I kind of like writing with it it's a thing um, so it's a ball pen but it writes so ball pen it's a ballpoint pen but it writes so smoothly um, film if I've edited, if I've uploaded, okay, and because um, sometimes I upload and then I don't like actually um, post it. So what do we call that? Film edit upload premiere. Publish. We'll call it publish. <laughs> and then promote. And I don't know what these two will be for, but I need to work on doing that, like promoting it. And um, and then, so promoting will be on, it's like be on YouTube and then I'll have my IG one and then wherever else I need to promote to. So that would just be something else. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna do that and just do my videos for the month. So this would be October videos. So actually, I can probably shorten this up because this is October videos. Um, I can do October like blog here. So each day could be, I mean, each page could have its own month. But I really wouldn't have to carry all of these um, in here. So I'm actually going to take some of those out because that's my rule is not carrying too much. Just having enough. So we would have October. 
yeah october videos october blogs um anything like i'm supposed to promote for someone maybe i can track that here but that'd be pretty cool to have and then i just kept this in here kind of like again as a divider and then i have these printouts that i got from oh don't quote me Ugh. It's one of the, I think it's Lights, Camera, Action. It may be Lights, Camera, Action. But I have this printout here and I love it. So you can, um, if you're doing Instagram, Facebook, your blog, YouTube, uh, Twitter, Pinterest, all of that stuff. Oh, that's the other one. There we go. Pinterest. I knew I was missing one. Because when you post Pinterest. When you post on Pinterest, um, it, it's good for you to help you grow. So I don't know if you guys knew that, but we can talk about that another time. But if you can put the title of your video, the date that you want to post it, plan it out. If you have any photos, you take your photos, film, edit, and publish. Um, and then the concept of the video, you can plan it out in this little box. And then a recap is just like following up with some items that you did in that video. And then this one is, was it an evergreen video? And I'll go into that as I get into the YouTube series, which I'll be um, doing here soon, which I always say that and then stuff happens, but I do have plans to do it. And then here is the back of here and it just has some notes. I was just like doing a running to-do list and all of that stuff. So that was pretty cool this had some basic stuff going back here but i love having that and it does have the pin loop so i can just stick my pin back in here i think i want to keep this pin in here i like i gravitate between this one and my villa beautiful pin so that's a thing and then it just there's the end of it so yeah that is my planner i am super i am super happy with the way that this planner is right now I know it's a little big for some and I get that but if you're um, you know interested in trying something new or you're tired of your current style and you're not sure like what you want to do definitely give this a try I think like I said it was like $32 at Target I ended up using I had a gift card to Target so I used that um, and it did I mean it does what I wanted to do I totally created this and I'm excited to like do new stuff with it and just figure out what works and what doesn't as time goes on. So let me know if you've ever tried the rings before. How do you like them? Like what are your thoughts? And I would love to hear from you down below. All right, you guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Mwah! KK. Bye.